dear. What bus was that? Excuse me, could you tell me if that was the 713 that just left? Uh, sir, do you need help? Keep if you wanted the 713, I'm afraid you just missed it. Oh, damn. How am I going to get home now? I've lost my cane, you see. And uh, I don't think I have enough money for a cab. Well, do you live very far? I've got some money on me, maybe it's enough. I, I live by St. Stephen's Church. I don't think it's far, but without my cane, I, I get lost. I have no sense of what's around me. Well, if you won't take my money, let me walk you home. Really? Besides, my bus won't be here for another half hour. Anyway, it'll give me something to do. Well, that would be very nice. Thank, thank you very much. I didn't think there were people as nice as you around anymore. Thank you, thank you so much. So do you live alone? Do you not have anyone, any family to help you get about? No, it's just me, and I get about fine. <laughs> well, apart from today, of course. <laughs> I used to have a family many years ago. A wife, a young daughter. But it's just me now. I think we should nearly be there. It's number 13. It has a big hedge in front of it. Yes. Yeah, I see it. We're almost there. Here we are. Safe and sound. It was very nice to meet you. Come inside for a cup of tea, just as a thank you. There's no need, and I really should get going. Please. It'll only take five minutes. OK, sure. Five minutes. It's just through here. I'm sorry about the state of the place. I keep meaning to fix it up, but never seem to get the time. Anyway, you, you make yourself comfortable, and um, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, you have a dog? Ah, Trevor. He made my life so much easier. You see, young girls are very fond of dogs. They became quite the annoying moral compass, especially when they started to scream. And you see, screams are my favorite part. <laughs> 